Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer USDT from Binance to XNIS account in 2023. So make sure to follow us as we decode the process step by step, ensuring a secure and efficient transfer of your USDT holding. So stay tuned to bridge the gap between Binance and XNIS, simplifying your assets management across these platforms. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm going to use like the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser for you. You can just go and open whatever other browser that you poss could possibly have. Once you open that browser, you will have to open two tabs. We will need two tabs. So go to the first lab tab and we'll have to go to Binance in the first tab. Sorry. So go to Binance like .com. And the second tab, we'll have to go into xness.com accounts. So make sure to go and log in into an account in both of these options or these platforms if you have an account. And if you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account on both of them if you have any of them. If you don't know nothing about Binance or XNIS, you can keep scrolling down in their home screen or main screen to read more information about the websites or have just another general idea or familiarize yourself with their websites. Of course, in Binance here, if you, if you scroll down, you'll find some frequently asked questions. If you have one of these questions, I'll just open the answers here. You can pause the video and check the answers by your own as an example. And for XNIS, again, it will be kind of the same. You'll have to scroll down to read more information about this website if you are interested and you don't know nothing about it as an example. As simple as that. So in Binance, for me, I'm already logged in. I'll just go and access my dashboard. And for XNIS, I'll just go here and click on sign in. And I'll have to sign in with my email address and password. Click on continue. If you don't have an account, click on create an account instead. So now, once you are like logged in into your accounts, both XNIS and Binance, First, what you'll need to do is on Binance, of course, you'll not be able to withdraw your USDT or transfer your USDT from Binance to XNIS unless you verify or add the two-factor authentication. If you don't know how to do it or if you still didn't do it, just wait. Once we uh, are at the step of withdrawing, if you did not like verify it, you will have an option there to verify it. So ver basically, you'll have to verify two-factor authentication, which is you'll have to verify your phone number or... Uh, add the authenticator app into your uh, or uh, connect your authenticator app on your phone with your uh, like Binance account. So for us on Binance, we'll go just to the left panel, click on assets and click on overview. Locate where do you have your USDC now? Look where do you have it? If you have it in the spots or fiat and spots uh, like wallets, that will be already cool. If you don't, You'll have to go here and click on transfer and simply make sure that two should be fiat and spots. And from should be where you have USDT. Do you have it in funding? Do you have it in isolated margin? Do you have it in close margin? Depending on whatever you have it. And then the coin, you'll have here to go and type USDT, and select it, then select the amount that you want. For me, I'll just select max. Of course, I have zero, so I'll not be able to do so. Or you just select max if you want to max or select the amount that you want to transfer from Binance to XNS and click on confirm. And once you have it, of course, in your spots, to ensure that you have it in spots, just go here to assets again on this left panel and click on spots right there. Once you do so, you will find like the estimated value is what you just transferred from whatever like wallet to have uh, you had to spot wallet. You'll find this right here and you'll find like USDT right here. So what you'll need to do now is simply, so here basically, what you'll need to do once you like uh, see that you have used the spot wallet, just go and click on withdraw. Once you do so, of course here, first let's just go to XNIS first of all, because like, or let's uh, stay here. So for you, as I said before, if you did not uh, like uh, activate the 2FA or two-factor authentication before, you will not be able to do so. You will be stopped by Binance and asked to do so or to activate that. So for me, I already did it, so I'll not do so. And here, I'll basically just go and choose the coin that I want to transfer is USDT. I can find it here. If you didn't find it, just select this here on the search, type USDT and enter that. 
And here, if it's a Binance user, of course, you'll not be able to send it to a Binance user unless you verify your ID, not just the 2FA. And of course, here you'll have to enter an address in network. Where you will get that? From Xness, of course. Go to back to Xness here on your dashboard. Make sure to simply go to this list panel, click on deposit. On this deposit option, you will have to go. And as you can see, they are telling you that verification is required. So you will not be able to deposit any money unless you verify your account. You'll have to do an ID verification first. But let's say as an example, you would like to deposit your cryptocurrency in here while you are verified. Well, you have to, what you'll have to do is simply you'll have to choose use DT on TRC uh, or TRC20. Let's see if they have any other network. So use the, this USDC, this USDT and ERC. So we have here ERC and we have TRC20. So in those both, I suggest you to choose this one because like the processing time is instant. This, it seems like percent times instant fees 0%, but I'm not very sure of this, like ERC. I normally use BIP20, TRC, or Ethereum network, so just use this TRC20. Select that, and of course, as you can see, you will need verification. So you'll have to verify your profile, etc. For me, I'm not going to, because you'll have to verify your email, phone, personal information, economic uh, profile, and even verify documents with your ID, passport, or driver license. So once you click on this, you will get your address. And of course, the network is CRC20. So just go and enter like the, the address in here. Just copy and paste that. And here you'll have to choose CRC20, which is TRX. And of course, you'll have to like enter the address in here. As you said, it should be TRC20. So this address, like I didn't get it from here. So just enter your address. Of course, it will look something like that. And here, enter TRC20, and you'll be good to go. Let's say, an example, this is this address is not from TRC20. So I'll just enter here another network just to show you. Once you choose like the uh, optimal like network with this address that comes with this address, you'll have to enter the amount that you wanted to transfer. So you can enter max, because depending on whatever you have on your spot wallet, funding wallet. And then, as you can see, the network fee will be $1. So if you transfer $10, you will get, like, of course, 10 is minimum. So if you transfer 100, it will, they will receive 99 and etc. Click on withdraw and wait for money until it's appeared on your XNES and you will be basically good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel if you like it. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.